Hey guys, this is Pete Collins. I'm one of the Photoshop guys here at Kelby Media Group, and I want to share with you the whole idea of how to create high key images with your pictures. The whole idea of high key is simply that you're going to want to create a pure white background, and the only thing that's going to have any color or detail or contrast is going to be your subject matter. You see this a lot in fashion photography or a lot of stock photography. The only thing that has any kind of detail is your subject matter. Well let's say you try to achieve that but your background isn't pure white. For instance I took this picture of my son outside and it's pretty close but it's not a high key image because we've got a lot of shadows and details going on here. How can I turn this into a high key image? Well it's actually very simple. The first thing you're going to want to do is remember where the icon is that you're going to need to use to be able to create this and it's simply the middle icon. It's four from the left or four from the right. It's a circle that's halfway filled in. Click on the little down arrow and you're going to simply choose levels. Now when I first thought about levels I thought it would help straighten your image. Well in a sense you could think it does. It's going to straighten the contrast of your image. And you don't even need to be freaked out by all this stuff here in this panel. All you need to remember is this eyedropper right here. It's the white eyedropper. Not the black or the gray, it's the white one. And all this is going to do is it's going to say, wherever I click on it, it's going to say, I want this to be pure white. And so I'm going to come over here, click on it, and it brightens it up. This is definitely white right here. But the problem is I've still got a lot of shadows and stuff going on over here. Well, what if I click right there? It's definitely getting closer, but I've still got some shadow stuff. Darkest area is probably right about there. Now the background is definitely pure white, but we've run into another problem. Now my sun is too bright. And, uh, you know, you can make all your jokes on that one, but he's definitely too bright for this image. Well, the good news is, if I hide this panel, I've done all this on a layer style. And what that means is it does all the adjustments above the original, and it doesn't mess with the original image. So it's floating up there above it. I can turn it on and off by poking the eye. And the great thing is it's already got a layer mask sitting there waiting for me. Now a layer mask can be a little scary at first, but all it is is it's saying wherever I paint with black, I want you to hide whatever's on this layer. And whatever I paint with white, I want you to reveal it's on this layer. So black conceals, white reveals. And right now the box is full of white, so everything is being shown. If I take and fill it with black, it hides everything. It's just as if I'd poke the eye out. Let's go back to white and now all I'm going to simply do is get my paintbrush and make sure I'm set with a black paint and I'm going to bump my opacity up to 100% and I want a big brush. Now I do want to make sure that my hardness is all the way at zero. I want a nice soft brush because I don't want any hard edges and I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to start painting and hiding that top layer in this area around my sun. Now as you can see if I paint over it I get the old background and the old shadows which I don't necessarily want. Well that's a great thing about the layer mask. I can now just simply switch to a white brush and I'm going to lower the size just a little bit and now I'm just going to go back and start hiding where I've over brushed and hide all that extra shadow that I didn't want. I come along here and the nice thing is I'm you can see I'm getting a little white or extra lightness around the edges of his arm. That's not really too bad because oftentimes you'll see in your fashion photography or whatever that there is a light spill coming across your model or your image from the background. Not too bad. There's just a little bit too much contrast going on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the opacity way down, and I'm going to raise my brush up just a little, and I am going to hide some of the background so it's going to brighten up a little. I'm painting with white right here on this layer mask, and I'm just going to brighten up some areas, and I'm just going to brush a few times to kind of bring back some of the brightness that was introduced with that layer style. The great news is if I do too much, I simply change my brush back to black and I'll paint away some of that brightness. Got a little too bright right there. I switch to black 
You know, I come back in and I just start painting away. So I make some real big moves with 100% opacity, and then when I start getting some detail areas, I just start brushing back in with a low opacity until I get the look I like. And it'll take a few times to try it and play with it, but very quickly you'll be able to take and make your picture go from this to something like that, and it took no time at all. All you've got to remember is your levels adjustment and being able to paint on your layer mask once it's adjusted. So there you go. I hope now that'll help you understand a little bit more about high key and a great way to use levels and layer masks to achieve the look you want. Once again, I'm Pete Collins, one of the Photoshop guys here at Kelby Media Group, and I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you, and hope to see you more in the future.